Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. And this week's topic is uh, science fiction and fantasy TBR, so books that I want to read within that genre. Science fiction and fantasy is my main, my main reads, my main genre, so my TBR list for science fiction and fantasy is infinitely long, basically. Um, so I just picked five books that I already own but haven't read yet and kind of just went for the first five I found that fit that description because basically everything. First book on my list is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This is a dystopian novel with this world where um, books are getting banned and also burned and kind of controlling like this idea of the government trying to control what people are thinking by limiting access to information. Um, I don't know why I haven't read this book, especially since I work in a library. Um, so I feel like I should do that. I think I, I think the fact that they burn the books is just is the reason why I haven't read it. Like, it's, it might be a little traumatizing for me to to read. Um, but I should suck it up and read this book basically. Next up, I have the Outlander series by Diana Galbadon. I own the first five books in the series and haven't read any of them. So I need to do that. <laughs> I have watched the first season of the television show and it's awesome, so I am hoping that the books are also awesome. Um, these center around Claire, who's from 1945, and she ends up time traveling back into this Highlander era of Scotland's history with all these clans. Um, but it's also at the time where the British are starting to take over, um, and so there's this fighting going on between the British government and the Scots. Um, and also dealing with like how women are treated in that society and having this difference because she went from being a nurse in World War II to suddenly supposing to be a lady and women aren't allowed to be educated. I also have The Martian by Andy Weir on my list. This is a... so this book focuses on Mark Watney who is an astronaut from the US and he gets stranded on Mars. Everybody thinks that he died um, but actually he didn't, and now he needs to stay alive, um, and get rescued. And I really love the movie, so I'm hoping that the book is also good. My brother read it and said he liked it, so, um, ta -da. Definitely TBR list. Then I have The Silent Gondoliers by William Goldman. I love The Princess Bride. It is my favorite book ever, but I have not read any of William Goldman's other novels. Um, so The Silent Gondoliers is seems the most similar to The Princess Bride um, of all his books, so I thought I would start there. So this story is about Venice and these gondoliers that used to sing, and now they've gone silent and trying to figure out why, and there's also apparently a lot of other things happening. Um, it's also a short book though, so I'm kind of hoping that that will make it easier to like read. Um, I think I'm just worried that like my expectations for it because The Princess Bride was so amazing if this one's not also amazing that I will be like severely disappointed. Um, which is why I haven't read it, but it needs to. So the last book on my list is The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedore. This is a reimagining of Alice in Wonderland, kind of this alternate version. Um, in, these, in this series we have this great war happening between the Red Queen and Alice, who is a princess and like the rightful heir to rule Wonderland. Um, I love the Mad Hatter in these books. Um, he's a royal bodyguard and like his devotion to Alice is awesome. Um, so I've already read the prequels to this, the Hatter M graphic novels and the Hatter Madigan Ghost in the Hatbox. Um, they're awesome so I'm like hoping that this first book that he wrote is also amazing. I love the way the imagination works in this world and like the weapons they have and just seeing how it's all similar to the original stories that we're used to but like a different world. Um, basically yeah. So this is also on my TBR. Um, yeah. So there are my top choices for science fiction and fantasy books that I need to read next. Uh, let me know if you have read any of these or if you can do it without spoiling them for me please. Um, what you thought of them, or what books in science fiction fantasy are your favorites, or which books do you want to read next? Yeah. 
So yeah, <laughs> peace out. I love you guys and keep dreaming.